The economy is a funny thing. Many of those who ride motorcycles for pleasure have been forced to give up their bikes. We have grown men coming in here in tears, sitting in front of me, begging us to please sell their bike before they lose their homes. While on the flip side... Our next customer will be coming in here because he can't afford his car payment or the gas and buying that gentleman's bike. For folks like Jeff Adler, owner of Iron Eagle Motorcycle Company in West Palm Beach, it's all good. We really started pulling numbers about nine months ago because that's really when this the economy started hitting hard. Our uh, customers that needed to sell motorcycles, the percentage of that has gone up probably twofold. It's a recreational vehicle up till you know a year ago, and now it's more like a household necessity. And it's not just sales that are up. N- normal service or repair on a motorcycle has been lifted probably 40 percent. I think they're putting the the accessories part of their finances on hold a little bit so they can maintain the bike that they're now using to go back and forth to work five days a week rather than just being a weekend rider. And that's keeping the likes of mechanic Chris Mattis busy. More than anything we've had a lot more tires and brakes and uh, routine service intervals more than uh, accessories and uh, chrome add-ons. Mainly the economy affects how much they're going to spend their money and what they're going to spend their money on. It's more spent on things that are needed to get you by instead of things that look pretty. Ken Garner came in looking for a bike that he and his girlfriend can use for short trips. Yeah, my girlfriend and I, we spend a lot of time going places and driving different places, and it's getting to where now. I mean, buying a... I mean, going in a car is cost me a fortune. I mean, it's just... I mean, now, I mean, driving up here, gas is now three seventy a, a gallon. I mean, uh, I can get this. I can drive from here to Cape Canaveral and back. And if we do that every weekend, I'll pay for the motorcycle itself and the gas savings because it's only going to cost me, gosh, less than 20 bucks to fill up the tank. Bob McGinley has been riding motorcycles going on 40 years now, and he's seen more folks turning in their four wheels for two. But there's one thing he's sure he would not do. Well, that would probably be the last thing I'd give up. Um, I've just been doing it for too long. 